welcome to Faith Life Ministries International, the home of miracles, total gospel to total man. I don't care what you've heard. I've made up my mind to run this race without any form of distraction. I don't listen to gossip. I don't listen to anything that will distract me from that which God has set before me. Until you are looking well, you will not catch anything. Elijah said to Elijah, he said, if thou can see me, it's a condition. You want a double portion, it is possible. But you have to see me first. If thou can see me when I will be taken away, say, then you shall have it. Your request might be difficult. It might be taxing. But it is not impossible. Amen. Can somebody say amen to that? Amen. It might be difficult. It might be taxing. You don't have a school start. You don't have a matric. And yet you are believing God for a company. It's difficult. It's taxing. But it is possible. Amen. Can you say a better amen somebody? never went to school before you don't even know how to spell your name and yet god is saying he's going to make you a millionaire it's difficult it is tasking but it is not impossible if you are the one god is talking to why not say yes lord somebody that is the reason why after this meeting you will become a winner in all area that amen is paralyzed and unbelief. Can you shout? After this anointing, maritally, a winner. Financially, a winner. Spiritually, a winner. When it comes to money from today, you'll be declared a winner. Because there is an anointing that makes men win all battles. Look at, look, look, look at the Bible with me. Psalm 114. Are you there? Psalm 114 verse 1. If you are there, say amen. amen. Verse 1. When Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange language. Verse 2. Judas was his sanctuary. And Israel, his dominion. Verse 3. The sea saw it and fled. Jordan was driven back. Verse 4. The mountains skipped like rams. And the little hills like lamps. Then a question was asked in verse 5. What hellet thee, O thou sea? Why are you running? Why fled thou? Thou, Judah, why was that driven back? Verse 6, the question continued. Ye mountains, obstacles in your marriage and troubles in your business, that ye are skipping like rams, like little hills, like lamb. Then they replied the earth in verse 7. If it is you, will you not tremble? Thou, O art, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, that presence that has the ability to turn a rock into a standing water. The flint into a fountain of water. Is anybody case here as hard as a rock? Is your marriage as hard as a rock? Financially, are you hard as a rock? Even if you were, what will change that into your desire is here today. It is called the presence of God. Verse 3 says, the sea saw it and they fled. Listen to me, church. After this service, when the anointing comes on you, what will naturally drown out us? When they see you, they will flee from you in the name of Jesus Christ. The sea that has the ability to drown men. There was something the sea saw on the head of the people of Israel. Instead of the sea drowning them, the sea fled from them. It's not everybody that is killed by sickness. It's not everybody that died from accident. There are some group of people who travel with God's presence. That when the sea sees them, 
when challenges seize them, when assassin seize them, when sickness seize them, they will be skipping like small rams. And from today, that will be your story. Somebody shout a living amen like a believer. They saw that. Can you imagine? Then the earth was not talking to the sea and the mountain. Oh, sea, why are you running? He looked at the mountain, the earth replied to the mountain. Mountain, why are you skipping like rams? What is making you mountain jumping from one place to the other? Why are you running? The sea and the mountains look at the earth and they reply the earth. Are you crazy? Oh, earth, will thou not tremble? You know what it is to tremble? It's not fear. You know what tremble is? When a man is trembling, he doesn't know when he pee on himself. That's trembling. They look at the sea and say, Will thou not tremble at the presence of the God of Jacob? How can you see God's presence and you are standing? That which is looking at your eye because your life is void of something. That sickness dear to your body because your life is void of something. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, I bring the presence of God upon you. I bring the presence of God upon you. Somebody shout fire! You know why we tell demons, look at my eyes! It's not the eyes of Adam's magic. Because you look at my eyes, you see the fire of God. And no demon can stand God's presence. No demon can stand God's presence. No demon can stand God's presence. How can witches be playing in your house? You go to bed, they will be clapping hand. You can't sleep. You wake up out of fear. Hey, I can't sleep in my house. That devil is a liar. You are going back to that house today. After the anointing this morning. What used to overcome you, you shall begin to overcome. Somebody say, help me, Lord. You enter the office and my boss is occultic. From where? Which herbalist? That is stronger than the mountain. That saw God and fled. He said the presence of the God of Jacob. That turned the standing rock to water. Some people are scared to go home. He went home. They treat him like a king. They were clapping and celebrating for him. Overstayed. And came back. Some come back and nothing works for them. He came back and bought a car. In the name of Jesus, what used to humiliate you, you shall begin to humiliate them. Somebody stand up and release your faith and say, Lord, put your presence on me. Say it again. Satan is not scared of your looks. Go to the hospital and see the very pretty people. They are 20 times finer than you are. You think you are too fine for God. You are making a fool of yourself. I can't serve God. I'm too beautiful. The devil is deceiving you. Go to the hospital and see the handsome looking men that are dying. I'm not talking about HIV, cancer, terminal diseases. All they want to hear there is God, is God, God, but it's too late. Because God is not an emergency force. It's when you are in trouble, you remember him. The Bible says, remember thy Lord thy God in the days of your youth. For the night cometh when you cannot. Don't let that night meet you in the hospital bed. Then you start saying, where is God? It's too late. Some of you, it's when you are your guys almost from assaulting. At the face of death, God, it's too late. I'm too beautiful for God. You are there deceiving yourself. Final people giving their heart to God. The presence of God. It's what makes you a strange winner. People will look at your result. They look at your effort. They cannot reconcile it. It's not correlating. There is no link there. This man does not have anybody in the government. He doesn't know anybody in the bank. How is he doing this multi-million dollars business? Hey, it is God. Somebody say it is God. They see. They saw it and they fled. 
Genesis 39. Verse 2. And the Lord was with who? And he was a prosperous man. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. Look up, everybody. Have you ever heard of a prosperous slave before? Look up, everybody. And Joseph was in the house of his master, but he was a prosperous man. Because of the forces that were available to him. Listen to me. Does it mean I can prosper as a maid? Yes, ma'am. Does it mean I can prosper as a messenger? Yes, sir. Does it mean I can prosper as an ordinary clerk? Yes, sir. That's what I'm saying. Does it mean I can prosper as a driver? Yes, sir. Have you ever heard of a prosperous slave? A slave, what we refer to today as a maid, a houseboy. He cleans the house. He takes care of the house. He's a maid. He irons for them. He cleans the floor. He mops the floor. But God was with him. That was it. That was all he needed. God was with him. As a slave, the presence of God was with him. And because God was with him, even as a slave, he prospered. I invoke God's presence on your destiny. I put God's presence on your business. I put God's presence on your academics. I put God's presence on your finances. Somebody say, yes, Lord.